All right, this is lesson number 13. We're working through mean, median, and mode. So mean, median, and mode has to do with a bunch of numbers that are usually uh, associated together. I have um, a bunch of numbers here. I have 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20, and 25. And basically what I'm going to do on the side is I'm going to define what the median is and then we'll go ahead and calculate the median. I'm sorry, I'll define what the mean is, then we'll figure out what the mean is. We'll define the median, and then calculate the median, figure out what the mode is, or define the mode, and then figure it out, and then define the range, and then we'll uh, figure the range out as well. I've got two sets of examples. So I've got this set here of numbers, and we'll do the same thing for a set down here. So we're going to do it twice, basically. All right. The mean. The mean is, I don't know, I kind of think of it this way. This is one way of remembering this. The mean is is, is the normal average. <laughs> and that's kind of a bad way of maybe, maybe a bad way of saying it, but it's the average that you've know, always known how to do. Uh, you were probably taught how to calculate the average a long time ago. And this is just that normal way of calculating the average. Um, so basically, you you add everything up, and then you divide by the total number of numbers that you have. Um, one way I think about this, kind of a stupid way, but kind of an uh, interesting way, is uh, the mean is the longest of the four things you got to do in the mean, median, mode, and range. Of those four, the mean is the longest one to do. And so I had a student a while ago think of it this way. Since it's the, it requires the most work, then it's the meanest one. The mean. It's the meanest one because it requires the most work. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, add everything up. And I've got a calculator here. We'll uh, total them up here. Alright, so here's my calculator. And all I'm going to do is just add all these numbers up. And I'll do it and hopefully you can kind of observe. There's the two threes, there's the four, the eight, the nine, the ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty, and twenty-five. So the total is going to be, um, or when I add them up, is 121. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to count how many I have. So how many numbers do I have? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 numbers altogether. So uh, before I actually do this, I'm just going to double check these numbers. So I'm going to verify the 121. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus, there's the 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20, and 25. All right, so it's 121. So I'm going to go ahead and divide these two numbers, and I get 9.3. Um, and you could, you know, 7, 6, 9. Really, all we need to do is round to the tenth. So we'll go ahead and say 9.3 as our answer. And that's the average. Make sure I get that on the video there for you. 9.3 is the average. Okay, the next one is the median. And the median is very simple. It's the middle number. It's the middle number. So I'm going to, here's how I do this. Here's the way I think about it. To do the middle number, I kind of work, I guess, both ways. I kind of work from left to right and then right to left. And I work in until I get to the middle number. So watch what I do. I'll cancel out the 1 with the 25. Again, I'm working from both sides and I cancel for every number I cancel out on the left side I cancel a number out on the right side so 2 and 20 3 and 13 3 and 12 4 and 11 8 and 10 notice I'm left with one number so that one number is my mo is my median so my medium in this case is is 9 now this next example that I'll do down here, we're not going to have, we're not going to be left with just one number. If you're left with just number one number, the median is easy. You just write it down. 
this particular example they have, you won't be left with just one number. You can be left with two numbers, and when we get there, I'll show you how to work that out. All right, so, so far we've done the mean, which is 9.3, the median, which is 9. Next one is the mode. Mode is actually a French word for fashion, like f something that's fashionable. Uh, and if something like, uh, you know, Air Jordans, the tennis shoe, basketball shoe is fashionable. So a lot of people wear it. And so uh, the mode, the word mode means fashionable. And it's the one that occurs most often. So I'm sure if uh, if everyone had $150 to pay for a pair of Air Jordans, then everybody would have a pair of Air Jordans. It would be very, very fashionable. Um, I don't even know if that's how much Air Jordans cost nowadays. Um, but uh, I actually had a pair when I was in junior high, believe it or not. So let's go through and we can see if we can figure out which one occurred most often. Uh, it looks like we got a three occurring twice, and that's it. So we have only one number occurring twice, and so the three then is the mode. It's the number that occurs most often. And then the last one is the range. And the range is simply this. It's the biggest number minus the smallest number. So the biggest number is 25. That's right here. And the smallest number is 1, which is up here. So 1 minus 25 is 24. So the mean, most work, 9.3. The median is the number in the middle. That's the 9. The mode is the one that occurs most often. 3 occurred twice. And the range is the biggest number minus the small number, and that's 24. OK. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom numbers. So I've got the mean first. Remember, mean is the is the number that looks mean because it requires the most work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, add everything up first and divide by how many I have. And I'll do it on the calculator so you can see me do it. So there's 32, 33, 35, 35, 40, 41, 45, and 45. So I get 306. So let me plug that here. So there's 306. Let me try it one more time just to verify it. So the 33, 32, 33, 35, 35, 40, 41, 45, and 45. 306. All right. Let's count up how many we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 numbers. So I'll take uh, 306 divided by 8, and I get 38.25. We'll round to the 10th. And so the mode is 38.2. All right, the next one. Remember, the median is the number in the middle. And to do that, we're going to scratch numbers off. So we'll scratch off the 32 with the 45, 33 with 45, 35 with 41. And notice, I, I, I'm not left with one number in the middle. Remember on this, this one up here, we we're left with one number in the middle? That's not the case on this one. And the way to get to deal with this is to take those two numbers that you're left with, add them up, and divide by 2. So 35 plus 40 gives us 75, divide by 2. And 75 by, divided by 2 is going to be 37.5. And there's your median. So if you're left with two numbers at the end, kind of like we're left with two numbers here, then you add them up and divide by 2. Next one's the mode. The mode is the most fashionable. It's the one that occurs most often. And look at what I got here. I got 35 occurring twice, and over here I've got 45 occurring twice. So what do you do then? Because I've got two numbers that are occurring the same number of times. Well, in this case, they would call this bimodal. Um, you'd have not just one mode, but you would have two modes. So this would be 35 and 45. So you just record them both. And the last one is the range. And the range is the biggest minus the smallest. So that's 45 minus 32. And 45 minus 32 is going to be 13. And there it is. All right, I think that's it for lesson number 13. Good luck, and I uh, hope you do well.